What's up guys and welcome back to Technique of the Week. My name's Jeff and on today's episode we're going to show you guys how to use a simple roll of grout tape to create a custom pattern on your concrete overlays so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So this here grout tape, man, it is pretty cost effective. You can get it a variety of different places. And the cool thing about it is it's just got these fibers uh, that are lining the tape. So um, that way we can put this tape down and we can put a concrete overlay over top of it as long as it's thin. This is not gonna work for a stamped overlay or something really thick, but if it's a trowel down overlay, uh, we lay out our pattern and then uh, after it's all said and done, we'll pull that stuff up and we can pretty much create whatever we want. Now we can get this in a variety of different sizes. This one's half inch. Uh, today we're gonna be using the quarter inch. You can also get it in three quarter. You can get it in eighth inch. This works really good uh, if you're doing a wood grain pattern because it's just a nice tight little grout line. The three quarter works really good if you're doing some sort of stone pattern. Now, the first step in any project like this is to put down this base coat, and we did this yesterday, and uh, we're always gonna have to do that first. Uh, that way we got a nice uh, surface to tape on, but just always keep in mind that this uh, color, right, the base coat, whatever color that base coat is, that's what color your grout lines are gonna be. So just make sure you have a little bit of an idea uh, what you want in the end so you can get this color um, down right. And then it's always good just to uh, give this uh, area a quick sand, that way uh, your grout tape uh, sticks down really nice and lays flat. So the first step uh, for today now is we're gonna just go ahead and get our pattern laid out. And the cool thing is with grout tape is, you know, if you put a line down and you don't like it, uh, you can always just pull it back up. And, um, you know, until we put that overlay over top, we can always still change our pattern if we want. Now, a couple things that are nice to have. Uh, I like having these uh, long straight edges like this. Um, you can just get these at hardware stores. This is just nice for uh, when you're laying out tile patterns. It's always nice to have some sort of a square, both a framing square and a speed square. Uh, you will need a knife or some kinds of, of scissors to cut this tape. You know, the great thing is we can pull this up, stuff up through overlays and it won't tear, but that also means we can't rip it with our fingers. So a scissor or a knife, um, and then definitely a tape measure is a good thing to have. Though I also like to use a piece of soapstone to make our marks uh, that way, cause it just wipes off really, really easy. The other thing that's nice to use here is white chalk. Uh, you know, I wouldn't use, the, definitely never use red chalk if you're gonna chalk out some lines. Um, but even the blue can be hard to get off and, and clean off before your overlay. So the white, uh, we can just wipe off really easy. Now we don't necessarily have to chalk every single line here. Um, we're just gonna chalk a couple to get started. We've already found the center point of our room and our entire pattern is just gonna work out off of that. Now, this particular room that we're in is not very square. You know, this wall actually just runs at a pretty good angle. So we're gonna turn these tiles on a 45. That way it's gonna uh, somewhat mask, um, you know, the fact that this room isn't very square. So once you got your pattern all laid out and you're happy with the way everything looks, all we're gonna do is just take a little leaf blower and just lightly blow over uh, this chalk just so our tape sticks real nice and then we'll get straight to taping. And it's always good after we get this tape laid down just to take a trowel like this or some kind of putty knife or something just to uh, run over that tape that just pushes it down really, really nice for us. But one thing to remember when, you're, when we're laying down this tape is to always make sure that we uh, leave a little bit extra length on each end uh, and that we can just let it stick right up the wall or out onto another slab. And that way uh, we got an end to start with all the time. You know, if we don't do that, sometimes it can be hard to find these things and you gotta dig in there with a knife. Or as soon as we're done with all that, we can get straight to putting down our primer and getting right to our next coat. So if you're not doing a tile pattern, you're just doing a random stone pattern or you know something that doesn't have to have nice straight lines on it, honestly, there's no reason that you'd have to mark this entire thing out first. Uh, you could just start making marks and then putting on your tape. For more layout and design techniques, please check out these episodes of Technique of the Week right here featuring Rick Lobdell. So our primer is almost dry here, and now the next step is going on to uh, our next coat, which could be a variety of different things. Uh, you know, in this case, we're gonna do a skip trial technique on this, and for a full tutorial on a skip trial technique, uh, please check out this episode of Technique of the Week right here. Um, we could also do more of a, if you guys were doing like a random stone pattern, um, you know, it looks good just to do a really sloppy looking trial, kind of like, like a, like a plaster kind of look. Uh, you could also uh, do a spray down, work awesome on something like this. We just need a hopper gun and we could do a spray down texture um, or we could do uh, something really smooth. You know, we could just pull another coat real tight over here of a different color and it could be just really simple and just be different color tiles and gray grout lines. And so there are tons of options uh, for what we're gonna do next, but no matter what, uh, we just need to get another coat of overlay on here uh, so we can create our, our tile look. 
uh, but also, you know, sometimes this might be two or three next uh, layers on this. And again, just uh, keep in mind that you don't want to end up getting too thick on top of this tape. But uh, for today, we're just going to do a skip trial and then we'll fill the rest in as we go along. And so I think we got our stuff mixed up and we're ready to go. So if all you're putting on top of this tape is cementitious overlay, uh, this is actually going to be the fun part is you can just pull this stuff right out and uh, no extra work required. Uh, there is a little bit of timing involved just to make sure that, uh, you know, you pull it too soon, it's going to chip a lot. Um, you know, if you wait to the next day, it normally comes up really nice and clean and won't chip at all. Uh, now for today's project is a little bit different because we ended up uh, putting metallic epoxy over this floor and this stuff is definitely not made to just pull right up through epoxy. And so, you know, it came up pretty good, but we did have to do a little bit of cleanup with the grinder. And so if you're using epoxy, just keep this in mind that there's going to be one little extra step here. Well, guys, that's about it for this week's technique. Hope you guys found this video enjoyable. And if you did, please let us know by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Please leave us a comment uh, if we missed anything or if you have anything to add uh, or any questions for tape down techniques on overlays. Uh, please, uh, if you're already subscribed, please don't forget about that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and it really helps our channel out. So from all of us here at Decocrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.